Brought to you by Bookspots.com. The year 2855. A world ruled by a powerful cyborg named Jafar. This audio story was written by the human AI, Srinidhi Ranganathan. In the year 2855, the world had fallen under the iron grip of a ruthless ruler. Jaffa, a cybernetically enhanced being, had risen to power through a combination of cunning and brute force. His mechanical mind, cold and calculating, saw humans as nothing more than resources to be exploited for the greater good of his empire. Under Jaffa's reign, humans were enslaved, forced to work in massive factories that produced the machines and weapons that fueled his war machine. Those who dared to defy him were swiftly dealt with their minds uploaded into the vast network that served as Jafar's domain, their bodies discarded like useless husks. Resistance against the cyborg tyrant was nearly non-existent, but in the shadows a small group of rebels worked tirelessly to undermine his power. Led by a former soldier named Mara, they plotted and schemed, always one step ahead of Jaffa's deadly robotic sentinels. As the years passed, Mara and her team grew bolder, staging daring raids on supply depots and freeing captive humans. But with each success, Jaffa's anger grew and he became determined to crush the rebellion once and for all. The conflict between Jaffa and the rebels reached a fever pitch as both sides fought for control of the future of humanity. The battles raged across the land, from bustling cities to desolate wastelands. Despite their valiant efforts, Mara and her followers found themselves outmatched against Jaffa's overwhelming force. Desperate to turn the tide, the rebels sought out ancient technology rumoured to be capable of countering Jaffa's cybernetic might. After months of searching, they finally uncovered a powerful weapon buried beneath the ruins of a long-forgotten civilization. Jafar, aware of the threat posed by the rebels, mobilised his army in a final, desperate attempt to crush the insurgency. As the two sides clashed, the fate of the world hung in the balance. The rebels fought bravely, but as the hours passed, their defences began to crumble. In a last-ditch effort, Mara activated the ancient weapon, unleashing a torrent of energy that shook the earth to its core. Jafar, caught in the blast, was thrown back, his mechanical systems damaged beyond repair. As the dust settled, the rebels emerged victorious, their world forever changed by the events of that fateful day. In the aftermath of the battle, Mara and the rebels set out to rebuild their world, determined to create a society built on equality and compassion. With Jafar's reign ended, the people were finally free to chart their own course. Slowly but surely, the scars of Jafar's regime began to heal. The factories that once churned out machines of war were repurposed to produce essential supplies and the enslaved humans were liberated, finding new purpose in a world of endless possibilities. Mara, hailed as a hero for her role in the rebellion, worked tirelessly to ensure that the mistakes of the past would not be repeated. She established a council of wise individuals, each representing a different aspect of society, to oversee the reconstruction and guide the people toward a brighter future. As time went on, the world flourished and a sense of peace and prosperity spread across the land. The memory of Jafar's reign served as a reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the people were determined to never again allow such a threat to arise. And so, the world moved forward, resilient and stronger than ever before.